first guest has been making moves over the last couple of years in the acting, presenting, comedic world, and has created characters such as Jay Weezy, TJ, and moved from Channel U, can you imagine, Channel U, all the way to the silver screen on Another Hood and It's A Lot, and now he's definitely, definitely making sure the mainstream hear his name. It's Jazzy Zonzolo! <laughs> Hey, no, no, you do. You're right. You're right. Oh, I'm, nice good. I'm, I'm good. good. I'm Welcome good. Welcome to the showroom. Thank you. Thank you. This is nice. <laughs> this is cozy. I knew you'd appreciate it. I, knew I like this. I like this. I like the colours in that. Thing, oh, good. It? Good. We did it just for you, man. Yeah, no, I like it. Man. This is good. This is good. This so, is good. Jazzy, like yes. I said, you've definitely, definitely been yeah. paving the way for a lot of young... I'm trying. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> like actors, yeah. comedians, um, Hosting, like I remember, I first saw you on the Bigger Fish stage. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you was hosting, like going on tours with them across yeah. the country, and you've transitioned, but you've stayed true to yourself. We always get a bit of jazzy. Yeah. So how have you been able to do this over the last couple of years? Uh, I think it's um, just like the surrounding, like the people that I'm around, um, it's just keeping me humble in it. So you know, the family and stuff like that. And um, to be honest with you, it's just one of those ones where it's like. Um, with this, you know how it is with the industry and stuff like that. It's like once you get to a certain stage, a lot of people kind of just change. Mm. And for me, it was just kind of a thing where I wanted to always kind of stay the same. So the people that, you know, uh, that are looking at me or um, have grown up watching me can just look at it and be like, well, you know what? He kept it real, like, to 100. So yeah. I could do the same thing, you know yeah. what I mean? So, yeah, man. What did you want to do? Because originally you was on channel, you was on um, Boyd. Yeah. And he was a prankster. Yeah, yeah. So everyone kind of thought, okay, he's a funny kid that's going to play pranks. Yeah. But then you're flipping it up and like doing real hard hitting interviews when you had like the Jazzy show. Yeah. So people are seeing so many different people in you. Yeah. But like I said, it still stays true. But like, yeah. what did you want to do? Well, originally, I wanted to be a footballer. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What yeah, happened yeah. to that? <laughs> As you can see, it didn't work out. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so I wanted to be a footballer. And then um, that didn't work out. Why and didn't it work out, by the way? You know what? I was actually good. You was? Yeah, yeah I was good. I, just to let you lot know. <laughs> I was actually good. But what happened was, as you get older, like, I think um, when I got about 15, 16, and I still didn't um, hit, like, a professional okay. team. So then I had to kind of make that decision. And obviously, I'm, I've got a very close relationship with my dad. And he was just like, listen, if at 16 you're not, you know, Bro, yeah, at 16, yeah, yeah, at 16, yeah, because you know, for football, you need to be in an academy okay. from young to kind of, you know, that's when you know if you can make it at yeah. least. And um, at 16, my dad was just like, "Listen, like, if this football thing don't work out, like, what are you gonna do?" Yeah. And I was just like, "Oh boy, I'm gonna, you know, I wanna do comedy." <laughs> I had to say like comedy, and then he was just like, "Nah, man." Yeah, you ain't doing that. You get me? You're just gonna, you know, education and whatever. And then um and then yeah, just it just fell into place. It yeah. just fell into place, just um started doing drama and all them things there, and then it just kinda, you know, one thing led to the other. How I got to Channel U was um I knew like at the time there was like everyone. That was the that was our BBC. Okay, so, wow. So, like, no, it was, yeah, like, actually. at the time, do you know what I mean? That's what we all kind of, like, you know what I mean? We used to watch that. And yeah. then um, I looked at it, and I was like, all right, how can I get onto that channel? So then I thought, you know what, let me have a plan. I thought to myself, I can't really go there and say to them, oh, I present, because they're not going to take me seriously. Yeah. So I lied. Yeah, I lied. Sometimes you've got to do that, what? You're telling me you ain't done that in your CV, no? <laughs> <laughs> so I lied. No. Yeah. <laughs> So I lied and I said I was a cameraman and they were like, oh yeah. <laughs> so they were like, yeah, we're looking for a cameraman. I was like, what? Okay. And then um, they brought me in and then I kind of, whilst I was there, I was kind of like, obviously I was really rubbish at the, the <laughs> camera thing. Yeah. So then they were like, you know what? You might as well just be a runner. So all those artists that you see, you know, yeah. Getz, um, J2K, all those people, um, Bashi, everyone, I was kind of like going to the shops. I was the person that was buying them, like bringing them drinks and stuff like that. It's funny now, but you know what I mean? But that's what you got to do, innit? Yeah. And whilst I was there, I was being smart. I wasn't taking this, like, I was, I was just looking at everything and I was like, all right, cool. What can I do here that will change 
um, you know, that will change the channel. And what can I do oh, geez, to... She went in there yeah, 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 yeah. So I was just thinking just like, what can I do to, you know, uh, do something that will change things? And then um, one day I just decided, I right, I got it, it's comedy. You know what I mean? Mm. And how I'm going to get it, how I'm going to get my name out there real quick, because I needed it quickly. <laughs> Again, I was going to college and stuff like that, so it was like, time was ticking. So then I was just like, all right, cool. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do pranks. And then I'm going to prank all the favourite, art, everyone's favourite artist. And I did end dubs. Jeez, you, were, you aimed high. Yeah, yeah, they like, were like the biggest yeah, thing at the I'm time. Yeah, I'm thinking that time, they yeah. were huge. Yeah, so we did that, pranked them. It went on TV. Remember, I only had like three minutes. Like, it was like three minute segment. Yeah prank them then it just went crazy and then from there i got my own show called the jazzy show yes. and then from the jazzy show that went crazy and then from jazzy show i got another hood and then another hood it just yeah it just went crazy that yeah. i mean it just shows how important it is to do your own thing yeah. and go out there and take a risk and you know don't be afraid to be the i feel like this is some kind of motivational speech but, yeah, yeah. but don't be afraid to do what it is you want to do of course because you got to remember as well i was at a point where you know um like i like i keep on um saying like i've got a very close unit i'm the oldest okay. out of my family so i've always kind of had that whole thing i've got like three sisters yeah. you see what i'm saying so it's like i've always been that guy where I want them to look at me as an example. So I just had to figure out, all right, look, I know I don't wanna, I know I don't wanna be no, like, you know, I don't wanna really be in education or whatever, but let me do something, you yeah. see what I'm saying? So, yeah, I did it and, you know, it's, I'm doing all right. That's wicked. Yeah. Can we yeah. give a round of applause for that? Thank you. You gotta get out there. Yeah, man, you have to, it makes sense. Well, I wanna know, did another hood really change your life? I mean, it is a big transition yeah. from, you know, Channel AKA and Channel yeah. U yeah. to being in a major film that was across the country. Yeah, that was so crazy. So how did that affect you personally? You know what, I think it's, it, it, but like, how can I say it? It definitely changed my life 100% because I think out of everyone, because I know Adam Deacon from Another Hood got a BAFTA, but I think out of everyone, I really benefited the most because you got to remember, like, you know, those people were kind of like Adam Deacon and all those people, they were kind of doing it from the beginning. Yeah. Whereas with me, you know, like I was already accessible before all of that. You yeah. see what I'm saying? When I did the Jazzy show, I was still going college. Jeez. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> everyone kind of knew me yeah. at the time. So I was very accessible. So Another Hood was just more of everyone. Like, I just wanted to show people because you got to remember, you know how... Um, you know how this whole urban thing is, man? Like, you do one thing and everyone's like, yeah, but you're only on this. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, you're, yeah. Only, you're, not, you're, you're not really doing anything, bruv. You're just there. You know what I'm saying? So my, my aim has always been to, to do bigger and better. So when Another Hood came through and I got it, it was just kind of like, it definitely changed everything because from that, I, I, I got an agent. <laughs> from that... Um, I did my own, um, uh, I started doing the BBC sketches. Yes, you did. Which is on a million plus, by the way. Just what I should make. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So I, yeah, uh, give a round of applause for that. That's nice. You know? So I did, I, did, I did all these things, and what it did was it, it definitely opened up a lot of doors for me, but then at the same time, it showed everybody, you know, if you've actually got... Um, a goal or a dream, just go for it, man. Like, you gotta remember, I'm not, even though I do TV, and even though you see me on TV, films and et cetera, et cetera, I'm still a normal guy, you know what I mean? You know me personally, you see what I'm saying? So I'm just a regular guy, but I'm just trying to, I'm just happy that I'm at that point, you know what I mean? Yeah. And just quickly as well, just quickly, just quickly. One thing, yeah, that like made everything worthwhile, yeah, was you gotta remember, when I do this whole comedy thing, yeah. this is like, it, it's uh, what's it called? It's an act. You see, okay. what I'm saying. Yeah, so it's yeah, like yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm playing a character. Like, like you're not really a half Asian. No, I'm not. He told yeah. everyone yeah. that he was half Asian yeah, when I'm he first not, started yeah, acting. I'm, yeah, I'm not half Asian. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I just needed the Asian fan base. <laughs> 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 but I got love for them though. <laughs> but um, yeah. So like when I did all of that, it was like. A lot, you got to remember, when you're doing comedy, um, when you're doing all these comedy things and whatever, certain people actually think you are that person. Yeah, you yeah. see what I'm saying? Like, and behind closed doors, you know, I'm actually kind of smart. You see what I'm saying? I'm, 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 I'm kind of smart. You know what I mean? <laughs> and 
and one thing that another hood did do for me and 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 really kind of like made me feel a type of way and gave me more uh ammunition and just like an extra boost was the day where you gotta remember yeah my parents did not i keep talking about family because family are very it's a big vital part yeah, of definitely. what you do do you definitely. see what i'm saying now my parents said no they're african definitely. by the way so they said no they do not ha you can't go to an african family and say yo i want to be a comedian <laughs> what <laughs> you see what i'm saying so they were like they weren't happy you see what i'm saying i used to lie to them about I, I used to like I used to work in McDonald's back in the day. Okay. Just throwing it out there, yeah, it's, it's mad. But yeah, <laughs> so I used to work in McDonald's. So I used to lie to my dad saying that I was going to work, but I was actually really going to do the whole comedy stuff. Wow. But anyway, my main thing is this. So the day after all of this, after all the arguments, after everything, after dropping out of uni oh. as well, oh. yeah, after oh. dropping out of uni, me and my dad had the biggest fallout on the phone. He was so upset because you got to remember I'm the first one yeah. that and you know what I mean? So he was so upset that day where another hood came out. I, I swear to God, my dad, my sisters, everyone. We walked through. We walked through uh, Leicester Square. Hey, red carpet. Red carpet. Yeah, we come out the car. So I'm just looking at my dad, looking at my parents and everything. We're walking through, walking through, walking through. We're now all of a sudden paparazzi. Uh. I'm a little big deal, you know what I mean? So <laughs> they were there. So obviously, they're taking the snaps, taking the snaps, taking the snaps. Everything's cool. I'm looking at my parents. I'm looking at my parents. Now, this is where everything got so surreal. We're sitting down now, and the whole venue is like packed. It's packed. Everyone's just sitting down. So I'm looking back now, and I'm looking at my mum, my dad, my sisters. Everyone's sitting down. And as the film's going by here, yeah, I'm looking at my family's face, yeah. yeah? This is the people that actually did, like, at first we're just thinking, you know, you shouldn't do this and this, that, 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 yeah. that, yeah? And I'm looking at everyone's face and I'm just like, yes. Like, for me, just that moment there, yeah, for me, I made it. That's, That's a lot. it. That's, That's a it. lot. Give a big round of applause for that. That's beautiful. Yeah, That's beautiful. You don't know what this means to me. We're getting that real... This is the real jazzy. Like, yeah. I love stuff like yeah, that. Like yeah. hearing just what's really close to your heart. Yeah. So we, we know you're doing really well. Yeah. Poor music, love you. Thank you. Got yeah. you on rotation. Yeah, yeah. they love you. Yeah. <laughs> rotation. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. And like, you're, you're a really busy guy. Yeah. So how, what do you do to chill out and unwind? Um, I'm just, I, I try to, um, you know, uh, hang about with just like people, just like my friends and stuff, man. I'm just with my friends. Okay. Catch up. Yeah, I just keep it kind of easy. Sometimes I have to turn it up a little bit, okay. you know what I mean? Yeah, okay. just, a, just a little bit, but... I'm glad you said yeah. that, though. I'm uh -oh. glad you said that. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I want to know, do you, what do you... Like, leisurely, do, what, do you host dinner parties or...? I don't know, I don't know about hosting dinner parties. But, um, no? Can no. you cook? I can, you know. What, what do you cook? Hmm? Would you, what, why are you asking me, mm, what do you cook? Okay, you're putting pressure, you know what I mean? I want to know because um, we've got a little showroom challenge coming up, so oh, I want like to know that? How, how well this is going to go. Well, you know what it is, like, me in the kitchen sometimes, uh, you know when you come up with, like, excuses? <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you, sometimes in the kitchen I'm legally blind. I'm, it's, it's, a, oh it's a bit nuts, my it's gosh. a bit nuts. Well, <laughs> Jazzy, are you up for a... Uh, our showroom challenge. Today. Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. Okay, we want to see yeah. if Mr. Jazzy Zonzolo is a master chef. Uh oh. Are you guys ready for that? Yeah. <laughs> Give it up for Jazzy! Yeah. 